Hello everyone. In the previous video, we are submitting our form and we are having some validation. We are uh, implementing the validation errors, and here we are mm, uh, I'm telling you that whenever I'm submitting this form, so I don't want to lose my field value. So how we can make them available whenever we have a page refresh, and this value will never lost, right? So if the user filled this values, so it will be become available. Uh, even we have got refresh web page and we got back so how we can fill this out so let's go to your project and here this one is first title input so i want to make this title um, uh, fillable whenever we have any exception so here you need to pass the value and in the value attribute you need to pass old so basically it's uh, old is used for get the old value of form and then you want to get what which value so i want to get the title so i had this uh, old title so now it's going to get the old title value and fill this into this input field so now here i'm going to host the laravel post submit this out and yes and our title is there it's not lost okay so now the time is to implement this thing on the category and publish so this is a little bit tricky whenever you are applying this on the category so you, you can't do this so as i did this right now in the value tag because this except to the uh, check this drop down with the uh, what's the property of this one i think it would be a uh, checked so if i go here and uh, here I'm going to make this value true so then it's going to check its uh, value so for example I'm first I'm going to add this on the publish so I'm going to verify that is it value of checked let's refresh it no checked it not it would be a say I think it would be a selected save this one and let's give it a refresh and yes selected is working because it's uh, already selected so here now we need to implement this selected based on the condition so here i'm going to in the laravel 9 so there is a selected blade directive which is added right selected and in this selected you need to add the true condition whenever it will be true so this will be automatically uh, selected so i'm going to define here I'm going to define the old okay and uh, what's the name of this drop down so the name is this one is publish right is publish here and then i'm going to match this is uh, publish uh, our old value for example user is choose publish so publish is old value when it's submitted to the server and returned back so is publish publish is a old value which is containing a one and we are uh, uh, making this equal to what we are going to making this equal to one right because we are passing this one here we need to copy this same thing here for this and then you need to add this zero because here we are passing this zero here we are passing one so now it's going to if this zero is checked so this old value contain this zero and zero equal zero so this will be automatically return this check uh, selected and if old value equal equal for example we submit this value one so this will one equal one and this will be checked so now let's uh, get refresh and check this is it working properly or not so here i'm going to choose this publish and submit this again and yes it's choose this publish again so we our logic is working properly and here we have oh, we need to add this same thing in our this category problem so i'm going to add a selected okay let me add this blade directive selected not this one man why it's behaving like clearly okay selected and in the selected i'm going to uh, check the old value 
old value name is category in this problem category and then this equal to now we have this dynamic category right so i'm going to pull this category id because here we are passing this category ids for example we set this category id one so then this will going to return one and here we need to also pass this same thing so it will return also one so one equal one so this will one will be checked so now let me confirm this and yes here but uh, where is a bracket oh i added this here so i need to add this here before this option and uh, why it's behaving like this uh why add this option here so let's remove this out option will be ending at the end of this yes now it's good worry so let's go here and give it a refresh and check that okay and now i'm going to make this so uh, why it's selecting this draft mm -hmm -hmm. okay oh by default it's zero so that's why it's selecting this draft value okay so here i'm going to choose this fashion and submit this out so it will be now uh, fashion will be automatically selected because we choose this fashion and yes it's fashion is selected so this draft is displaying draft because of our value is by default it's zero we did not select this out so here this contain file upload and here we can't view this image so we can display this whenever you are choosing this file using jquery you can display this but i'm not going to do this here and you can also add a description so let me you need to add this uh, same name as you are doing this uh, in the input but uh, in the text area you need to add this without the value attribute here right so here i'm going to pass the old and in the old i'm going to pass this description and uh, let's get refresh i hadi submit this okay it's containing hi hadi that's great so uh, one more thing here for now it's not having any space right so if i give it a refresh and i'm going to tell you a simple bug uh, it's not bug but maybe in your case you did this uh, wrong so this will throw uh, it will behave like a bug okay so now it's there is no space right so for example you add this uh, space yeah if you want to add this so uh, like this so we want to display the variable properly like here so now it's going to add space here right so let's take eye on this i'm going to give it a refresh and yes if i go here and let's remove this no there is no space why because due to this summer note it's not to um, let me remove this summer note and i'm going to show you that what's uh, i'm highlighting here so you can view it here there is a space right i'm going to refresh it again so whenever you are implementing this text area so make sure you uh, yes it's added this space so make sure you edit this so uh, in the same line so you don't need to add the space otherwise it will add the space in your text area so let's uh, give it a refresh and it's going to remove this space right now and yes it's reloaded and if i click on it and yes it's starting it from the start not from here right so that's is a um, thing that's why i want to highlight this so it's uh, uh, on the summer note on the summer note maybe uh, this summer note is by default to emptying um, by default of, uh, removing our empty values from this text area that's why it's working in this text area so make sure you are doing this properly okay so here our these thing is working so now i want to add some client validation so here you need to add first validation on the title title would be required and then you need to apply this on some other like this one is also required this required is used for validating on the html side so here this one is also required and last one this one 
also required now let's get refresh it's going to highlight that so title is required or category is required whatever we are going to choose an empty and yes it's highlighting if i go here and submit this and it's highlighting that this is required if i fill this out it's going to now populate the second one that file is required and stuff like that right so why it's not highlighting these two ones because we are choosing choose option here so it's mean that it's so uh, letting that this value is there so if you go here let me go to the top and if you remove this disable keyword and you can also remove this disable keyword so now it's going to highlight these two ones because now there is no value is selected if you made this disable so it's not going to uh, check them because these are disable so if i go ahead and fill this title so now it's going to highlight the drop down also but it's still not highlighting so let me fill this value and then i'm going to check that okay it's still uh, it's now going to highlight this one but these are not highlighting why it selected this draft here let me uh, turn this off and i'm going to also turn this oh i added this selected here so that's why it's uh, going to choose this value right so let's uh, remove this selected right and basically this thing is uh, uh, is disabled and selected but uh, HTML is not recognizing this one so you can apply the validation on the you can apply the validation on your uh, validation of your uh, what's the name of uh, this one parsley GS validation so where I completely explain that how you can uh, implement the parsley validation for this one so you can validate your form using javascript so now it's going to submit this one because these are two are uh, it's not going to not going to choose the it's not going to uh, basically uh, validate these field so that's why it's uh, giving like this but anyway we have a uh, server side validation so we don't need these uh, too much uh, focus on these client side validation if you need them so you can check out my parsley js validation where you can validate each and everything you can check its size you can check so its length you can check its uh, required property you can make this nullable you can choose whatever you like so let me open the link for you parsley js it's pretty pretty simple you need to just add the cdn then a javascript to cdn uh, style and javascript cdn and then you need to initialize this into the form and then you need to apply this from the uh, from the uh, jquery side okay and then it's going to work so this one is valid these are the validation so you can add them like this so we need to add id of form and then you need to add this parsley yes and include them both that's it okay so let's uh, remove this one remove this one so here our validation are applied and everything is working fine so now i'm going to save my values into the database so here after the validations i want to show one more thing we added this validation in the uh, store method right so we added this in the controller but um, and the solid if you know about solid so basically solid is a principle which is used to optimize our coding or we need to uh, it's uh, recommend us to uh, do the better coding it's uh, telling us the better technique how to code your um, how to code yourself and how to structure your project so basically solid says that your uh, one class is responsible for one thing so we need to move this logic somewhere else and validate this so we don't need to add this into the uh, into the controller so that's why i'm going to create the form request so form requests are basically used in the laravel to validate the um, validate the user data on the server side right so that's why i'm going to create a form request if you don't know don't worry so we will learn this in this series so php artisan make request and then you need to type here what's the request so request would be the I'm, uh, we are uh, implementing this on the post so that's why I'm naming this uh, post request 
so by the way we have um, two types of role the first one is administrator and second one is no we don't have two types of role we have only uh, auth so i'm going to implement this in the auth maybe in the future we have uh, uh, multiple role like user role so we can differentiate the user and uh, client request so here i'm storing this in the auth directory and in the auth i'm going to create the post request you can also create the post directory first and then you need to add this uh, create request like this and then you can create the uh, update request so this one is used for uh, storing and uh, other one is used for updating so there is another topic that uh, should i use create or update same request for both ones yes you can but you need to check that where the request is coming from because whenever you are having same sorry whenever we have same values so you need to uh, you for example you have a unique email so you want when you are going to implement this on the updates it's going to throw that uh, email is already exists so for this you need to i think uh, the main thing is uh, separation so you need to make your logic separate so this will not take too much time our uh, time and uh, performance we need to create separate request for both ones right okay so let's close all of the one and in the app there is no request directory so laravel will create the request directory and the request it will create this folder and this file hit enter let's check i on this no i need to open the http and yes request is created and the request it's auth post and then there is a create request so this uh, request contain by default uh, it's extending the form request which is uh, i told you that we are implementing this form request so this uh, whenever you are implementing this through the console so you don't need to do anything it will laravel add this everything uh, for you whenever you are following this command so this uh, contain authorized method and this rules method so in the authorized you need to authorize that you want to allow this uh, request to implement this uh, in your controller so yes i want to allow this to authorize if you would not allow this it's not going to allow it's not going to implement this uh, rules property so in the rules here we need to define our rule so like in our case i want to validate my title so you need to pass your title like uh, in the pipe shape or you can add the array like this required as we did this in the validate method right so that's why i'm going to go to this controller and copy all of this stuff between stuff right i'm going to remove this out and i'm also telling you that how you can call this request I'm going to remove this out and paste this out everything here so now our validation are there so we don't need to add any more validation now the next step is we need to call this uh, uh, call this request in our controller so here by default laravel is adding this request default request which is http request and i'm going to now call this uh, new validation uh, new request which is created right now so it's this one stored in the auth slash post request so if i hit enter so this namespace will be automatically added at the top and yes this one is added here right so we are validating this out so if i go here and uh, type this so like i want to enter this one so it's going to validate that this contain uh, should contain the two right so let me choose a file submit this out okay why it's not submitting this out choose the file let me choose this from greater than 20 okay it's going to validate that this should not maximum okay title must not be greater than 20 character because we added this 20 character in our edition right here it's relating this thing so here you can add the 70 or whatever you prefer okay so the our main thing is our this one is working this one is working and everything is working fine so here we need to create this request so let me check the video size oh my god guys our video size is going bigger in the next video i'm going to create the record so i will meet you in the next one bye bye